Hello, y'all. It is Brian here. Welcome to the Chung and Lu podcast. Aaron, would you like to say hello to the masses? What's going on, everybody, man? Back again, ready to get it started. Excited, as always, man. It's been a while, man. It really has, bro. It always feels like it's, I mean, it, even when we do the regular schedule, but this one, it feels like it's been a good stretch. Yeah, yeah. I had my brother, his wife, they came from Houston. They took a road trip, and they just left yesterday as of this recording. Hell yeah. Did they, they, they drive back, or are they flying back? Oh, uh, they drove back, because they brought their car. Damn. Uh, they made it back. They do. They drove like straight, fifteen, sixteen hours. Damn, no stopping. Uh, they thought about stopping, but they like, no, we're gonna just go. Hey, so they probably had a lot of energy drinks. More part to them, man. Glad they was able to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome, right there. Your brother drove the whole way, or what? They alternated. Uh, I think he drove most of the way, but she probably helped out a bit too, because I wouldn't drive fifteen, sixteen hours straight. Well, I mean, shit, you do eight. That's the most I ever do. You drive eight. The other person drive eight. Yeah, the most I've done was uh, DC to Charlotte. I that about five, six. Six hours. Six hours? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Oh, that's what's up, though, man. Family, just family time over every time. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But And I, I got to go see him again in February. Hey, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I know. We're, we're going to be frequent flyers to Texas. How, 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 do your, how do your parents feel, you know, him being... Is this the first time you guys been this far away from him? No, like no. Family? He was in California before for oh, like, yeah. like two years. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This might be a longer than two years, but hey, I mean, we're used to it. Yeah, for sure. No, no that's what's up, though, man. More power to them, man. Glad oh, appreciate going it. With you guys. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, man. You threw down for Thanksgiving or what? What's up? Did you throw down for Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, no, not much. No, we didn't host uh, that much this year. Yeah. We were just more hanging out, and I got to watch the 40 years beat Seattle. Yeah, yeah. That was good. And then I got to watch the 40 years beat Philadelphia last week yeah, by a yeah. lot. I was very surprised. Yeah, yeah. Trust yeah. me. Hell yeah, man. No, hey, Fortnite's been doing their thing, dog. Y'all needed that Philly game. Credit to Steve Wilkes. Hey, y'all destroyed That defense, them. man. Hey, man, I, I wonder is... is, is uh, I don't want to jump ahead of the, the topics there. I wonder if Tepper, like, fucking rolling over in his fucking bed, man. He's like, fuck. Yeah, probably. Probably. He, well, he, Steve had a little bit of a struggle, you know, the three-game losing streak, and, you know, there was yeah. some heat with, on him. But after the bye week, he made a lot of changes, and boom, it looks like the number one defense, and then so on. Damn, bro. He had it. He I know. had this shit in his fucking hands, bro. Tepper, he could have fucking did something. And speaking of that, yep, the Carolina Panthers. That is the topic of today. Yeah, man. Because everybody's talking about them. Not just, like, the local media, but everybody. It's like, what the fuck happened to They're Carolina? They're talking about dysfunctional organization, worst team in football, no draft picks. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, I remember hearing that how Houston, uh, the Texans, was was that organization. Yeah. Like, how they were dysfunctional and... They fire a coach once a year. They yeah, did the same thing, yeah. yeah Lovey and Smith the, and then David the, Culley. Yeah, the oh, no, it was David Culley, then Lovey Smith, yeah, yeah. And now you get... D'Amico Ryans, our yeah. old guy. Yeah, and, and uh, CJ... What is it? What, Stroud? Stroud, yeah, yeah. And and now... They turned it around. Fucking And, crazy, and, and CJ Stroud looks like an MVP candidate. Uh, do you believe that if CJ... If Carolina would have... Uh, drafted CJ that it would have been the same situation or a little bit better because maybe CJ's a better quarterback but probably the same situation probably maybe like three wins yeah because I, I I hear I see people try to blame the the Bryce, on Bryce Young's Young. yeah on on the on the line yeah no because uh, uh no with D'Amico Ryan's is more stable mm-hmm. he's, he's brought more stability to like the head coaching and everything like that and ownership like they're backing out you know yeah yeah, yeah. David Tepper is still hands-on yeah um I remember uh when they were uh, at one point, we were, we were supposed to get uh the heck the former head coach for New Orleans. Uh, I want to say Sean. Sean Ryan. Payton. Sean Payton. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I wanted to say Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan. What the heck? Who the hell is Sean Ryan? I don't know. <laughs> Sean Ryan. That sounds like a singer. You gotta be somebody famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, no. Um, the hottest candidate I think for the Panthers is probably Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. Oh shit. Because well, he he played for the Panthers for a year or two, I think. This just dawned on me, though. I remember when he, that could have been a possibility. And given Bryce Young and, you know, how Drew Brees was like a short pass fucking assassin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder how that would have been able to help with uh, Bryce Young. I'm not saying he don't got an arm, but, you know, mm-hmm. he don't got the, enough time, to, you know, to. I, when, I, when I see Bryce Young, he, he can throw, man, when he got time. Yeah, yeah. And he but got, the problem is he has no time. He has no And he has time. no fucking receivers. The only receiver he has is a 30-plus-year-old Adam Thielen. And, I, I think, and he's still really good, but he's yeah, just, yeah. I mean, he can't be your number one slightly, receiver. Slightly on the decon. Yeah. And then he's only 5'9", so he ain't got much stride. So it's like, mm-hmm. it ain't that he can't scramble. Yeah. These motherfuckers take, take one stride to his two. 
Hey, they say he processes information really fast. I'm surprised like nobody's trying to implement a West Coast offense for him some so, way. Uh, Yards have to catch like a like a yeah. kind of like a 49ers offense. Yeah, facts, 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 facts. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Well, man, dude, it's fucking Carolina, bro. This the worst season we ever had. Yes, by far. Man, dude, what what does it take? I think that's why. Uh, I think we we talked about this on one of the other episodes. Is I think that's why uh, people Carolina fans get so uh, they seem kind of disloyal. Yeah, like the, but, the but most the, up and but, down. But uh, I mean, like like fan base. But like Charlotte is like like the epitome of the Panthers. You know, a lot of transplants. So there's not really that many Panther fans, honestly, in that Charlotte. Is, that is true. That is true. That is true. And a lot of the uh, the because Panthers what they came here what ninety five yeah yeah so a lot of like the the OGs and that you know from you know the Carolinas are like Cowboy fans and like yeah, yeah. minor fans mm-hmm. Green Bay you know fans. when they were growing up they didn't have the fucking Panthers yeah exactly exactly so damn dude but Jacksonville has the same problem too you know uh, like a lot of transplants too in Jacksonville Florida oh yeah really yeah even when they're pretty good right now I heard uh, Jacksonville. I be hearing, I've used to hear wild shit about Jacksonville. Like, oh, don't 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 go to Jacksonville. Really? Yeah. I thought I heard decent things about it. I just don't hear that much about it because you know everybody yeah. talks about Orlando and Miami and Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jacksonville's kind of like the forgotten child. Hey, I think it's the capital of Florida, right? I would I would I don't want to say that. Well, I heard it's the most known. populous. Surprisingly. Oh, really? Yeah. That I could. I, that's cool. I bet Jacksonville uh, natives probably like keep it that way. Uh, we don't want you motherfuckers <laughs> over here. No, no, I'm sorry. It's Tallahassee. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Tallahassee. 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 Uh, is that that? Is that the Seminoles? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, by the way, they didn't Ooh. make the college football playoff. What do you think about that? I I feel like, but do like because I've I've heard the both ways. They're saying um, you know, they would have got washed. Either way, but but that doesn't matter. At the end of the day, though, they went undefeated. Put them in there, man. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. They're gonna get washed by Michigan. I'm, I'm assuming they would be number four with Michigan. Ain't, isn't that what the whole playoff is for? To, that's what you. That's what they went undefeated for to get a chance at the fucking title, regardless yeah. of you know. And I think they said that the quarterback would because he be got there, hurt. But I think wouldn't he? Uh, they said something about I guess the length of his injury. By the time it came to the playoffs, he would have been ready to go or or something. I don't know. Either way, though, they should have just gave him the chance. I mean, I know, I know. That's what football, it's that's like what, the NFL playoffs, man. Like a seven, like a seven. Uh, what is it? Seven and nine or seven and ten, whatever. Yeah. They have to play the number one seed. I mean, yeah, or number two seed. I'm sorry. It's uh, anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, for sure. That's definitely one of those. I mean, and then it's, I think that's just fair, man. Just let them play. It's like the Panthers. They went seven, eight, and one that one year, and uh, they beat Arizona. Facts. You know, Arizona was good back then. Fact, they, they beat him in the, in the playoffs. And that's the thing with college, bro. You never know with college. I know. I know. You never know. I mean. I, I think Florida State got cheated, honestly. Well, most definitely. Most I, honestly, if, I, if I'm, if what, what, they're playing that sugar, what, I don't know what bowl, they're, what bowl game they're playing. I wouldn't even try. I just, I wouldn't yeah. even want to play that much. Yeah, yeah. Factual, factual, factual. I mean, you want to play because, you know, for pr- school pride. But, I mean, like, like, you have no incentive, honestly. Yeah, honestly. I, I guess I I would play just because this helped teaches the 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 young men out there you know we ain't finna just throw a hissy fit yeah we yeah. gonna play we gonna still try to get this win yeah we gonna still be professional about it but I'd be unprofessional fuck em. yeah fuck them I don't know it's it's kind of mixed it's like uh, do I really want to play it's like man we we went thirteen to zero but I mean you can't do anything now it's kind of too late I I just wouldn't want it to affect anybody last year coming out. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Trying to enter the draft or whatever the case. I wouldn't want to talk I wouldn't really matter, though. Your, your draft probably wouldn't, is, though. It, because your draft shot, like Christian, I think he backed out, like Christian McCaffrey, he backed out his one of the last bowl games oh, yeah. in, uh, in Stanford. And then, oh, was, to to, I mean, he still got drafted by the Panthers, yeah, number try to seven, save eight. You yeah, know? then you don't want them getting hurt either mm-hmm. over a bullshit-ass bowl game that exactly. they shouldn't even have Exactly, been. exactly. I feel like for the top prospects, they shouldn't play that one. I I, I'm totally fine with uh, college players that are going to the draft yeah, to let, prep for the draft. Yeah, let the let the guys that's going to be here next year let them play. Or they know get, they're not going to play professional football. Yeah, let them get let them get they shine in, and then at the end of the game you just throw your big fat fucking middle fingers up at the fucking stand. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. the the committee. Yeah, exactly. But back to the Panthers during uh, halftime show. Huh? My fault during halftime oh, yeah, show. Good. The band should just form that shit in the in the during the halftime. <laughs> fuck the committee. They should. They need a lot of people though. <laughs> fuck the CFB. Next year, though, the 12 team, it's going to be 12 teams in the playoffs. Yeah. So that's some ass, though. That's 
This shit, that is some ass when they did the FSU, but I know, I know. Damn, bro, FSU getting fucked over, Panthers getting fucked. They fucked themselves. Yeah, uh, they, they fucked themselves the second they didn't hire Steve Wilkes. Jesus Christ, bro. They, I... bro, the players loved them. They don't, like, like if you, man, you could just tell the players like, like I think this year it's kind of an emotional thing too because they're just destroy- they're still destroyed. Yeah. I'm not having Steve. And then I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say this because I don't want to. I feel like the like the commentators like that do like the Carolina news and shit for like sports. They almost seem delusional at this point. They seem back what they were saying before the season started to like what's the product's been. It's like you motherfuckers are delusional because I remember they were like building up this this hype. Yeah, you know, like oh, you know, they got the first draft pick. You know, they're they're hyping up everything and. Like, trying to look at the positive, which I, I expect them not to, like, why would they not do yeah, that, yeah. right? I get it. But it's it's funny because people really like, oh, yeah, the Panthers got a chance. I think even I was sipping it, like, oh, yeah, they, they look good. Well, the, their defense is actually pretty good. Yeah. Their defense never really was the, ever the problem. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. They you can always, tell the offense. Yeah, yeah, they always had a good defense. Mm-hmm. How the fuck you, you, your games are 17 to 17 and fucking, you know what I'm saying? You, you the, the other team can't score no more than 17 points. Mm-hmm. So you motherfuckers can't get but a, a one touchdown on the goddamn board, bro. I know, what are we doing, I know, bro? I know. So uh, if you had to make a pie chart on who to blame, you have David Tepper, Frank Reich, and Bryce Young. Uh, I, I, a lot of people are blaming him too. How would you put the hot pie chart 100? percent Like on who to blame? Yeah, Tepper for sure. I think I, uh, I, like I think Tepper gets he's 90. Top. 90 percent the blame. Hell yeah! And then Frank Wright gets some blame, and Bryce even get even Bryce too because of CJ. You know, it just makes it harder On because the, of CJ Stroud. You know, like like if CJ was struggling too, it would be a big problem. But since CJ is having a successful rookie year, yeah, it, it just makes it very difficult. Bryce, know? but see, Bryce is a rookie still, so like, yeah, I don't expect no rookie. Like it's good when a rookie comes in and and goes crazy, but then. I'm not gonna put all, like I'm not gonna put a rookie through the ringer his yeah. first season, yeah. and he's not like I'm, I, Trevor Lawrence. He it took he was doing good, but it took him a while to oh, get back to like he had Urban Meyer. Okay, Urban, yeah. that, 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 that's like the forgotten season. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just dysfunctional. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. with with Bryce Young, I I won't I can't okay. even though like it's his first season. Yeah, you got to learn. Like now, you know, next season if you can see some progression. Like that's what I would look. For. I think I that's like, why they. I think I think that's why Frank Wright got fired because the Bryce was having no. Uh, the offense was having no progression. Yeah, no. But still, I mean, Frank was just in a lose lose situation. I, th- you know, there's rumors that he wanted C.J. Stroud. Wow. I feel I feel like Frank's gonna do like a tell all story <laughs> eventually. Probably so. Maybe, yeah. Give it like a year or two, but he'll he'll give it he'll give everybody the tell all story. Of just, what's going on in Carolina? What 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 happened? Because fucking, I, I don't. Know. I just I don't get how. Like when David Tepper was like with with uh getting rid of Steve Wilkes, it was like out of all of these coaches you done had, bro, fucking and it ain't even just the fact that oh Steve Wilkes was a Charlotte guy, like all that all that homegrown shit. Yeah, yeah. It's the simple fact that you got, he gave you a successful a complete season. turnaround, bro. Yeah, yeah. With the least amount of fucking uh uh shit Talent. that you tried to give Frank Wright, like Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not even mad at Frank Wright low key, but at the end of the day, like with Steve Wilkes, like Bro, he came in with the same motherfuckers that 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 uh, uh your boy had for what two three seasons. Yeah, and then and did and did a complete fucking one eighty. Almost could have gave them boys a fucking playoff situation mm-hmm. at the last end of. The, why the fuck would you get that motherfucker one more year, bro? Yeah, exactly. Just to bring Frank right in and then fire his ass eleven games into the season, like bro. I, <laughs> but it's all good. Thank God, you know Steve Wilkes is doing his thing in in, in uh San Fran, and and you know. And he and the proof is in his pudding, but like that shit is like that shit kind of got me heated. And I ain't even I'm a casual ass watcher, but the thought of that is like, bro, what the fuck is we doing? Like who now this new dude? I, I forget the inner, the inner room coach Chris Tabor. Now. He's a special teams coordinator. It's like at this point, David Tubb is one of those motherfuckers that's like putting people in position to like fuck their careers over. Yeah, yeah. like I would not want to come to Carolina. 
And uh, speaking of that, um, there's there's been some rumors about some Panther staff telling Ben Johnson, you know, the hottest candidate uh, yeah. in the coaching cycle for the Lions. He's the offensive coordinator. Like, don't take the job. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. David Tepper. Facts, facts. Like, I'm not finna, I'm not finna fuck around with that shit, bro. But I will say it's the best job ever. You know why? You get to get fired mid season and get paid fifty million dollars. <laughs> exactly, man. You know, this is you know we talk about investing in shit like that. This is the best yeah, passive income ever. Yeah, oh God. So yeah, getting game hey. checks for nothing. Hey, you're not lying, bro. You're not lying. Maybe that maybe that's the upside too. So maybe we should apply. Hey, David, if you hear us, I, I would be happy to coach the Panthers. Straight up. You can give me one million dollars. I'm fine, and you pay me out like ten Straight million dollars for the next ten years. I'm good. Straight up, I'll take y'all there, baby. Come, Come on, on, man. You can do that. I could lose easily, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. You about? Actually, we could, we could probably win more games, honestly. <laughs> I, I, hey, if, if you I hire some able- good coordinators, well, you have a good one, uh, uh, Israel Evro for the uh, the defensive coordinator. He's pretty good. Do you? What do you? you think, know? What do you? What percentage do you think a regular person such as ourselves could come in and coach a team if we had the chance to coach uh, uh NFL team? What do you think your percentage is? What t- what kind of team? Like a just dis- completely dis- like the Panthers are like like a really good team, like like the Niners and Ravens. Any team. Cause I feel I feel like football is hard enough. Even if you got a good team, I still feel like it's easy to lose. Uh, I think I think I think you I, think you get one. I think an everyday person they can probably win one game out of a full season. Out of a full season, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's not just you. You know, you have yeah. you know, because like if you're a head coach, a lot of people don't call plays. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. like you have assistant coaches that do that, and they can win the game for you. Yeah, facts, true. Actually. And you have some good players. Boom, they'll carry you. You're just there for more support. Just, yeah, exactly, exactly. They score you. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. Exactly. Nah, man, that shit is fucking hilarious, bro. I, I like I say, man, I, I, it's like I don't get the. I do, I do, and I, I think I did, and I will commend them for the, the off season moves as far as like, because it showed like okay they do care about trying to get a product in. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate that the, the result was below subpar, but. At the end of the day, though, like I gave them that credit, like as far as like, you know, blowing the shit up, that needed to be done. You talking about firing Matt Rule? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that yeah, whole that situation. Yeah, yeah, firing yeah. Matt he, Rule. He, he actually gave him a little bit of time. I just wish he would have been like, well, f- that was one of those instances of like I remember like being in the military and you get a change of command and each CO comes in and tries to like make their mark for the unit. So this CO did this. Now the next one has to come in and have the thing that he does to make the unit yeah. make his mark. I feel like that's what David Tepper did when it's like, bro, you had a product with Steve Wilkes. You should have just kept him. Mm-hmm. Like, even even if this season would have started out the same way, I feel like the the most obvious choice would have been like you you saw a product. Yeah. Out of everyone that you chose, this was the only one that that gave a result. Mm-hmm. It ain't like like you gave Matt Rule three a team, years. A team is not going to turn around like like less than a year unless you get really lucky. You Straight know? up, but this motherfucker did it in in in, in mid season. Mid season, I know. When, when the team morale was probably like at its low. Yeah, the defense was like the defense was already good, and he's a defensive mind of coach. But you're still winning games, like bro. You should have just. And Sam Darnold was actually you know decent. He wasn't terrible. Like yeah. a lot of people don't remember that. He he wasn't terrible like he was like the Jets. You know. And I feel like in his first year in Carolina, straight up, I feel like. And what's wrong with having a defensive minded coach that's going to be open minded enough to let trusted people make decisions for the offense? Like, yeah, yeah. All right, like you know, what I'm saying, like, all right, I, I believe what this guy says. If he says we should get this player, mm-hmm. boom, we should get him. Like, whatever the case may be, y'all. Like, and now that I think about all of the decisions that was made, like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not necessarily mad at the Bryce Young pick because. I don't have a doubt in my mind that Bryce Young. I'm can't not mad play. at the pick, but they trade up way too much. They gave up yeah, way just too for much. Bryce Young, yeah, they like, way too much for him. I th- and I think that yeah, exactly. That's where they fucked up at. But I mean, and then to not give him like, and I guess what 2020 hindsight, what that saying is. Yeah. But it's okay. He's a he's a he's a he's a smaller player, so he's gonna have to get the ball off quicker. Why the fuck didn't y'all invest in receivers that can get off the line quick? Well, they gave up DJ Moore. You feel me, like <laughs> DJ Moore, and they gave up a uh, uh, running back, Foreman. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no he just signed. Oh, he but, just I mean, signed. They, let him, they let him go. Yeah, it's like uh, Foreman was a beast last year. Facts, bro. Like if if like their running game sucks now. It's like non-existent. Yeah, it's it's like I, I you you invested in. It's like you are. Right, we got the we did all this to get this quarterback, and then it was like, oh fuck him. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna put this. We rookie, got the guy, but where's all the help? You yeah, know? we're gonna put this rookie his first fucking season, mm. and like, 
Which is not the first time they they they, they done this, but it's like okay, Bryce Young, he ain't Cam Newton. Yeah. And I'm not saying that like like to the, the degrade Bryce Young, but he's not Cam Newton. What six four, six five, yeah. hundred some pounds? He's like our size. Yeah, flipping through fucking uh uh, uh O lines and offensive and defensive lines and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Bryce Young thinking he was gonna do the same shit Cam Newton was gonna do. What what the fuck was he doing here, bro? Mm-hmm. I think honestly, they shouldn't have traded any picks. Last year, they should have kept Steve Wilkes. They should have just rolled with Sam Darnold to see what, what he got. Because he's still young. Sam's only like 25, 26 years old. Oh, yeah. Well, and, I didn't even think of that. And look, they were winning with Ben McAdoo as the offensive coordinator. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Steve was doing something right, you know? And it's not even 2020 heights. The second they did not hire him, I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. but, but I was happy because I, I knew I knew uh, since D'Amico Ryan's left for the Texans, I was like, he's probably going to take the job for the 49ers. Yeah, that's right. I think most of the jobs were already taken by the time... Uh, uh, they didn't hire Steve. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And for the most part, it's worked out. Yeah, I, I like I say, man. I just I want to know, like, I wonder. I, I and I don't know David Tepper like that. Like, I barely follow the dude. I've heard his name. This was this year's been the most I've heard his name. Like, and the whole Rock Hill debacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole yeah, all that shit going on. But like, uh, it's, it's just one of those things where it feels like, based off what little bit I heard, it, it seems like the guys are like more into. He just seems like somebody you would not want to work for, man. No, no, no. He, he might be worse than Daniel Snyder for the for Washington. Like I could, yeah. I, I, at, at least Daniel gave you like two or three years, you know. Yeah. Like he, like I, I don't think Daniel's ever fired a coach mid season, like first year. And you know, I, I, as much as you know, he sucks, but yeah, exactly. And it makes me wonder, like, how much does he know about football? I know it's come from a casual like me, right? But it's like, it seems like you got you're you're impatient, but then none of your decisions have went to anything yeah like, it's one thing i'd say if you was impatient if you had if you made results mm-hmm. and you were like oh hell no like we're not going to accept anything at, below this standard that we've set for that i've set for this team mm-hmm. it's like bro you haven't even set the standard yet bro well i think his record's like 30 and 60 since owning the team yeah we're losing and they're like right like everyone that you let go due to whatever reasons you know ron revere like i i mean i i could kind of see but then at the same time ron revere's been probably with the exception of John Fox. Probably the best coach we've ever had. Yeah. With the most results. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't fucking get it. And now, like I said, I don't see who it was they want to, other than that that passive money is going to come to fucking I, 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 th- I think he's a casual like us. He just has money. That's all. Yeah. Hedge fund man. Hedge fund manager. Straight up. It, that, that has to be what's it because it's like. He's a casual like us. Trust me, he is like like he's doing stuff that we would be doing. You know, yeah, yeah, like sure. being impatient. That's what fans are. Fans are impatient too. Oh, of course. Like even like what's in, us in San Francisco, we want to see books gone after you know the losing streak. But you know, I you think, gotta be patient. I think they're saying that he wanted uh, Matt Rule to be like a seven year um, process initially, like. Like, you know, and like how Matt Rule always, like, you know, it takes time. Like, you know, whatever fuck Matt Rule used to say for it to be, what, three years and he cut his ass was like, I mean, I'm, but it's just like now all of a sudden no one else gets that seven-year plan. Like, Steve Vooks could have got it three years. Yeah, yeah. At least. Like, I, I, I think most coaches usually four to five years. They want some security. Probably five. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a, like, come on, I don't know, man. How the fuck is you gonna give Matt Rule? You was willing to give Matt Rule that. I mean, you cut his ass off way before that, which is yeah, the, probably the best. But he got lucky though. Been. He he had, he had a clause in his contract where like uh, if he gets hired by another team, then uh, he doesn't have to pay him. So he got hired by Nebraska. He doesn't he doesn't have to pay Matt Rule, but yeah, he does have yeah. to pay Frank Wright though. I think I think ain't Matt making bank in Nebraska too? Yeah yeah yeah. He, he probably like had to negotiate his contract with Nebraska. Like, hey, look at this. <laughs> I I just want to coach. I love coaching. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, they, my, my previous uh, employer, he's paying me like whatever it is per year. Yeah. So if you can match that, then I'll definitely coach her more, you know? Man. I wonder, so, what can Carolina do in this off season? Uh, the, the, what can David Tepper do? Yeah, what can they do to like, what, where do they go from here? That's a good question because they don't have the number one pick. Chicago got, has it. The, the, wow. Well, assuming that they lose out who, all the way. Who do you think Chicago is going to look for? A lineman? You think they're gonna take a quarterback? I don't. Justin I, Fields ain't, ain't hit. I don't know. I, I would. I, I would. I would be very careful with that because, like, you, usually with the Panthers, like it's it's like a reset, you know. Man, and that's the thing with these quarterbacks, man. Like, it's such a the game of football, NFL football, is so fucking hard, bro. I know. Like even like even even Burrow was kind of struggling this season. Now he's injured. Yeah, yeah. But, like you know he 
Like, you don't ever fucking know, man. No. This dude could have been throwing, he could have thrown 10,000 yards his, his his college season. Yeah. And then you never know what the fuck you're going to get. The NFL is way, it's, it's quick. It, it takes mm-hmm. way long, uh, way quicker to get that ball out your hands. The def- defense is like, even with all the restrictions that the defense has, it's hard for these motherfuckers to score, dog. Those D linemen, they're, they're very athletic. Yeah. Like they, they look slow, they look big and slow, but they're freaking athletic yeah. as hell. It was like three seconds. You got three seconds to get, uh, to tr- from snap to get this ball out your hand. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably got like one point five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But you got now, but you got this this twenty two year old, which I'm not I'm not knocking like because if you go if you can play you can play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you know, you, but it's such a it's such a, a gamble. To get these young guys out in there and expect them to immediately, you know what I'm saying, throw the impact. I think the one thing that's been helping CJ Stroud is I, I feel like and I could be I could be very wrong, but Bryce Young seems like he may think too much than CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud seems like he's he's like fuck it if it, if, if it yeah, goes or yeah. goes. Like you see him make more. Uh, passes in between defenders. Mm-hmm. You see him do more anticipating the pass. I sound like a fucking. I'm looking at me sounding like a fucking analyst or some shit. Hey, but it's like, pretty good though. That's you, pretty good. You see him. You see CJ Stroud doing what NFL quarterbacks do. He seems like a like, a, like he, will, said, he says he he's been there for years. Yeah, like he's willing to because you have to. You're gonna have to do it eventually. You don't have to learn this shit. Like this is the tricks of the trade. Yeah. So you see him doing it. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At least he's getting the freedom. And the confidence to do it, mm-hmm. or it seems like Bryce Young, he don't got the time to do it for one. And then it seems like he probably seems like he's he wants to be perfect so much. And I'm pretty sure David Tepper and all of them probably already was like, oh, like you're the guy. And he has undue pressure because they traded so many picks for him. Yeah, and and they're, so they like, already CJ doesn't have as much pressure exactly. as much as Bryce Young. Yeah. So, so they're like, hey, fucking, you're the one. We need you to do this. We need you. And I think he probably was thinking too fucking hard. Yeah. And then he does stressing him out. Like, yeah. oh my god, man. Like, dang, man, they're not giving me anything. They want me to be the top guy. I I, don't, I can't. I won't dare. I won't dare uh, put. All now it doesn't say that he doesn't make mistakes, but again, he's a rookie. Yeah, you would like to see him, uh, you know, chill out a little bit. But mm-hmm. if 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 your rookie quarterback is coming and doing the same thing that Sam Donald was doing and all these other quarterbacks are doing, then it has to then it has to be who else do you point to? If these motherfuckers feel like they can't sit there and make the a right throw, they're making the same mistakes again and again. Or they feel like they have to do the most to try to get the game turned over. Uh, who, who, who? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who do we look at at that point? These guys have nothing to work with, bro. Okay, so if uh, Put Andy Dalton ass uh, out there, fuck it. Okay, so uh, okay, let's let's assume end of the season. That's it. No more. Uh, what do you do if, if you're the Panthers? Man, I don't. You invest in the line. You, but I don't think they. I, I feel like what they need to do, they don't have enough money to do. But you need a line, and you need some receivers. Maybe uh, I heard. Uh, I think they need an offensive line first because yeah, first. you need some time first. Yeah, get yeah, get it, get that some time. Uh, develop. They get, the best thing they could do is just develop what they got. Yeah, yeah. Like I, you know, it's, you know, you can only grab with so many people, but they got really uh, they got DJ the, Chark, but he's always hurt. They got Mingo. I think they drafted him. Yeah, I mean, you got to just work with the guys you have. Develop these guys; they're still young. Get them, you know, get them better. Get a line for him, and and fucking, I don't know. Man. Uh, well, they they only they only have a few picks. They only have a they, they have a two, three, four, two, five, and a six. They don't really have much to work with. And this, like like for a, for a potential any potential like uh, candidates for mm-hmm. a head coaching job yeah. or anywhere else. I would be very careful with this job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Proceed with caution. Yeah, facts. Like you better be asking him for like like a big ass like contract buyout, whatever you know, Frank Wright style, sixty million dollars or something like that. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. To work with David. Facts, exactly. I don't know, but somebody will take the job. It's just not a desirable one. Somebody will take the job. Yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. I, I just, it's just gonna have to be a motherfucker that's gonna be. I'm not saying the other guys wasn't, but you got to really love you some football to take this job. And you're gonna love, you're gonna, you're gonna have to love some David Tepper, yeah. like micromanaging. He's like one of the, the the managers that you have at work, like that's just like on you for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I feel like no matter who you are, I feel like even if you came in there, you try to be, hey look, Dave, he's gonna shut that shit the fuck down. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, pretty sure Frank tried that. Yeah. No, no success. 
Well, uh, uh, I will say this is beyond David's control. Well, it kind of is his control, but they should get rid of the GM too. Because even before this Bryce Young trade, he's missed a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's missed a ton Facts. in the draft and free agency too. Was the, um, excuse me. Was the was the line always this bad in Carolina? I don't know. It hasn't been great, but I, I feel. Was it always the problem though? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Mm. I mean, the receiver wasn't the problem because you got DJ Moore. But you don't have them anymore. I feel like when a team rebuilds, you still have to have some decent players. Yeah, for sure. I will say they, the one thing they they they, they should have done, and I don't know, I think this is twenty twenty high tight, is trade Brian Burns to the Rams for two first rounds. They should have. <coughs> they should have done that. Just blow it up, blow it up. You really got rid of Christian McCaffrey that time. Just give give the Rams Brian Burns. Did they did they end up giving Brian Burns what he was asking for? I don't think so. Not yet. Damn. They should have just took that deal because at least. Like, even if they made the trade with Bryce Young, they would have had some a- extra draft picks to work with. Yeah, facts, 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 facts. But, no. Man. So, like, 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 the, like, like if David's smart, he would fire the GM, like, real quickly. Because I'm pretty sure he li- he, he relies on, the, like, since he's a football casual like us, mm-hmm. I feel like he relies on the GM, like, a lot to, probably. you know, what's going on with the moves, stuff like that. Man, dude. I don't know, man. This shit is a... It's a mess, I, I feel like, I don't... It's one of those feelings where, like... Have we? You're hopeless. Like, like, uh, like, it's like, damn. We just gonna have. We're really gonna suck for like yeah. a, a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, damn. That's just crazy. Bro. But you know, I, I, I hope, I hope that, I hope David like calms. Like the one thing he needs to do is just hire somebody. And just like, yeah, stay out of the way. Yeah, facts, facts. Stay out of the way. Just be passive. And if you're passive, then you get the credit for winning the Super Bowl. You know, if that happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, facts. Man, that's just... hopefully one day, Aaron. Hopefully one day the Panthers will start winning, and it'll be a while though. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts, facts. We'll see. Although, I mean, hey, it, it takes teams a while. Like, like the Lions, it took Dan Campbell his third year, Kyle Shanahan third year. You know, you just gotta give coach some time. I, I think I said this on the on the uh, one of the other episodes. I think the only thing with Carolina is, uh, and this is no disrespect to other teams, but Cleveland Browns, right? They've been sorry for years. Mm-hmm. Like you already knew, oh, it's, it's Cleveland Browns, right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking D- uh, Detroit. They weren't always like terrible, but like you knew what to get from Detroit. I think the thing with Carolina is when we looked it up that one episode, and we were like, oh man, we actually went to the playoffs like what three, five years in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like we, Carolina's always. It's, it's like we've never been like this bad, but we never we've we've always been like. A step above average. Yeah, yeah. But never, you know, we've made it. We had our few Super Bowl appearances. So it's like we've been good enough to have expectations of like more, mm-hmm. even though we don't got a Super Bowl. Yeah. And so I think for this, this is our first drought. It's going to be hard as fuck for a Panther fan to go through this drought because like a few years ago, we were playoff bound. Like yeah. We were, yeah. We were, it, was, it was, you could stamp it like, hey, Panthers. Can, can they're, act, they're in contention every yeah. year. Yeah, it's like now. It's now. It's like this year. It, it, this is like the first time in, in the I think in the franchise history where it's like it's already a oh wash. fuck we're the new Cleveland Browns of the league the new fucking yeah yeah and and we gotta now we gotta wear that crown for a while I think that's why it feels tough they're more they're more like Washington we were yeah we were more spoiled than we than we really thought we than we really realized and mm. now we're like oh shit we're that team so what what are we in football poverty. <sighs> Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Fuck, bro. As long as David Tepper has full control of the team and not, and you know, our best bet shit is for the Carolina Hurricanes to win another championship. <laughs> I'll give the Hornets a chance. It's for the Carolina Hurricanes to win a uh, championship. We need Lamelo to come back because he got injured with the Hornets. He was balling out, and we need uh, we need a uh, Charlotte FC, uh, Charlotte Football Club to take us there too, baby. He fired the coach there too. No shit. Come on, man. Yeah. I will say, you know, Jerry Richardson, as you know, whatever allegations he had, you know, that, that forced him to sell the team. He was hands off. Mm-hmm. He was fant- He was a fantastic, you know, minus the behind the scenes stuff. But like, mm-hmm. like as an owner on the field, he was fantastic, man. You have like a pretty good job security. He mm-hmm. would never, he would never like interrupt you or anything like that. Mm-hmm. He would never like micromanage you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, as much as allegations he has, I think Panther fans do miss him yeah, as factual, the owner. Factual, 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 man, dude. Well, I mean, I, I do want to say, you know, shout out to Niners, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Green Bay, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
affiliate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys, you know. Jordan Love, man. He's coming through. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got that, you know, Pax got that dub. You know what I'm saying? Niners got getting the dubs. You know, Niners looking really fucking good out here. Mm-hmm. You know, y'all always is. We've been in contention in, since uh, 2019. Y'all always in contention, man. So that's 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 damn good right there. And I'm man. hoping that we can close it off finally for the and first it, time. And it's even more funny that San Fran is, is, is doing this with former Panther players and shit. Yeah, yeah. We got Christian well, McCaffrey, Sam Darnold. You know, he's a backup quarterback. But we got Darnold and Steve Wilkes. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Larry. So it's like that's that's... At least, and I think at the end of the day, I'm, I always feel grateful when people like McCaffrey and Steve can flourish. With a good team. Because, let's be honest, Christian McCaffrey would have... Wasted his career. All, his whole fucking career. Wasted, man. I hate to say that shit, but if maybe if Cam Newton would have never probably got injured and they would have probably been able to keep that core of guys. Yeah, yeah. But... Talk about like Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis. Yeah, yeah, you know, if there was like maybe, but... Yeah, Cat McCaffrey would have been. He would have been beat up. You know, he's already. You know, he he already gets. I, I hate. I don't want to say injury prone, but it makes more sense. Given he's a fucking running back, and you're using him like a workhorse here in Carolina. Like, and he's not winning any games. Yeah, like he's going to get. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like Saquon Barkley in, in, in New York. Yeah, bro. yeah, like, waste, yeah. So it's like it's a guy to see that he's actually able to be utilized. He gets help. Mm-hmm. You know, and Debo Samuel and he has, everyone. He has a lot of help, actually. Yeah, you got, exactly. You got Debo, you got uh, yeah. Brandon Ayuk, Trent Williams. He's Facts. the best left tackle. You got Brock Purdy, man. He's Facts. playing Facts. awesome football. I, I feel for people like uh, another one brings up is Alvin Kamara with the Saints. I'm like, damn, I wish he could get some. Oh, he's in poverty, too. It's like, sucks, bro. They're using him like a fucking workhorse, too. Yeah. He's yeah. catching, he's running. It's like, damn. Mm. Him and uh, uh, um, number seven, uh, the quarterback slash running back guy. Taste him. Taste yeah. him. These guys out here b- balling their ass. I was like, "Damn, bro!" I saw this funny skip on, on Bleacher Report with, about Taysom Hill. So. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. Nah, it's like it's, it's it's always nice to see the players when they get you know some grace because football is brutal, man. I know and you're putting your body, you know, for it for especially for it not to for you not to see results. You're like, bro. Like, oh man. I wonder how does that affect some of these guys' mental? Like, I, I feel like being in the NFL. Like, yeah, you happy? You getting paid? Um, but you still want to win. Yeah, I, yeah. I wonder, like, at what point do you be like, man, this shit ain't worth it? Like, Some people how, how often a lot of people do, like, but I, I like there's like a minority of people that don't care. Like, I got my money, I would do whatever I want. I feel that. What do you think? Type of player you think you'll be? You think you'll be one of the payday? Fuck you think it. you'll be the the slamming your helmet on the fucking bench and shit? Like, fuck. No, I'll be like, eh. I'm like, eh. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, there's certain people, players right now that I uh, won't mention. You just check that. You just check your watch and be like, "Oh, it's payday, baby." Yeah, yeah, it's payday. Fully guaranteed contract. I I just saw this was basketball, but uh, you know, um, they were uh, you know, they just had the in season tournament. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. L A one, right? Yeah, five hundred thousand dollars to each player. I heard. I didn't. Yeah, know yeah, yeah, I yeah. No, sh- it's not a, it, man, it can't be a pool, man. That's that's like very little. So Pete, they they said that. At the after taxes, they run coming. They're only going to get like two hundred thirty-one thousand out of that. Hey, fund. but it's better than nothing. It yeah, is better than nothing. It, it, like LeBron doesn't care, but like 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 the role players do. Yeah, yeah, that is better than nothing. But that's that's fucking. I was like, damn. And did you, did you see baseball? I know this is unrelated, but did you see Otani? Seven hundred. Seven hundred million dollars, fully guaranteed. Because you know baseball is fully guaranteed contracts, not like NFL. Oh my god! Like like Mahomes, I think he had the biggest contract. Ten years, four hundred fifty, five hundred million. That's nothing, hey, man. Hey, but uh, uh, how you say his name? I don't want to fuck Otani. Him. He's a fucking beast, bro. He is. He is. No, I, I only knew him because he beat Mike Trout in some tournament or whatever. Yeah, that's, the only, that's, that's, that, that's how I knew about him. He's going to L.A. He's staying in L.A. I got to Man, I, I got I to gotta hey, He's just going down the, uh, the 405 I to got, L.A. I got to Dodgers. Te- yeah, I got to te- I gotta text my homie because he's a Dodgers fan. I got to text him like, bro, what y'all going to do, man? What y'all going to do? <laughs> he's a big uh, L.A. Uh, Dodgers. He I, I don't watch baseball like that. I I, I, I just saw seven zero zero with an M. I'm like, whoa. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, the ba- MLB playoffs are get pretty intense. Really? They be balling out, man. Really? Yeah, it goes oh, back I and forth. I don't watch baseball like that. I don't, I don't mean either. Um, but like uh, hockey playoffs too. Like, I kind of been. I, I don't know if this is because I've been getting older. I've been finding myself watching golf. Like I used to watch. <laughs> I, 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 what? Not, 
I used to watch. Well, I used to watch pool when, like I was younger. I, I liked pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But lately, um, I find myself if golf is on one Saturday morning, I probably mm-hmm. watch a, some some golf. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is, man. It's just kind of peaceful, low key, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I get bored. I try to watch it. I just don't enjoy it. I, I try to. Mm-hmm. I I think I almost was getting uh into it, but I I don't think I ever will oh. like like play it. Yeah, yeah. But I found myself like, man. And then I, I don't know why I'm, I'm starting to feel like I want to try to get into that over under shit, but I don't know shit enough about sports to. I'm a bad gambler, so yeah. I don't even bother. I, I, can't, I can't even get the team that wants to win correct. Yeah, yeah, you, facts. You, that's the first part of the equation. Then you have to pick, pick the spread. <laughs> I've always been so far. I must admit, but I don't want to jinx myself. I've always been pretty good at like uh, getting the like the Super Bowl winners. But I know, like you say, the spread. Yeah, I can't get the spread, but I if, can't we, get it. if it was as easy as just picking who you think would win, I think I, I'm pretty. Man, confident. much more people would gamble. Though. Oh, for sure, that'd be way too easy. Most definitely, but I don't know, man. I'm just uh, average nobody, yeah, hey. average Joe, like a uh, dodgeball, average, average Joe. Joe, average Joe, baby, average Joe. But we, we're not average Joes. We're podcasters. I don't know. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I, uh, but yeah, man. As I got older, I've been, I've been more. Uh, I feel myself getting more like, cause sometimes I ain't gonna lie to you. Football used to bore me, man. Really? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie exciting. to you, man. It well, depends. unless the team is blowing somebody out, that's kind of boring. I don't. Uh, to this day, I don't watch blowouts. Like, I I catch it to the first half, and depending on how the game is going, I watch it to the half. And if like, shit ain't if if I if the team don't look like that. Don't look like they they trying to win. But but, but there's a comeback. The Vikings last year came back like thirty three nothing. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you never know when a comeback is going to be. In exactly, shape. exactly. You you have to watch the game. You have to. Yeah, true that. It depends. Though sometimes I can feel it. Though sometimes you can feel it. It takes a couple plays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It takes a couple plays. You be like, oh, oh these motherfuckers ain't finna do shit. I know, I know. You be like, nah, they not finna do. All it takes is that last interception that motherfucker throws or some shit like that or fumble. You like, oh yeah, these motherfuckers done. They cooked. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Sometimes, you know, well, I wonder how, you know, usually, I don't know. I I, I didn't watch the full game for the Niners and the, oh. the Eagles game. Mm-hmm. I caught it the first half. I was like, oh, yeah, they, it's going, they coming back and forth, back and forth. And and then we just scored six, six straight I, I, touchdowns. I and they contained Jalen Hurts. Like, I, I actually, Steve Wilkes has been doing a pretty good job on containing mobile quarterbacks. Ain't That's it, something that we had a lot of trouble. Now, I get I get your resentment with Philly, but ain't it funny how the Philly has came like the new Patriots of the league? Are you just hating? Yeah. like I everyone, actually don't hate Philadelphia. They have a good, you know, I respect they have a good team. I think their fans is what that people, people hate. dislike, yeah. I, I would actually want to go to Philadelphia to embrace the fans. Yeah, I mean, let's go, man. I, I like, like they're talking shit. You know, like, yeah, I've seen yeah. videos they're talking shit on the way. Like, you know, if other fans are going on the way. I'm like, let's go, man. Yeah, hell yeah. I'd be excited too, man. Just, just don't try to put, pick a fight. That's all, man, dude. You can you believe people have died over sports? Yeah, and, and they're just spectators. They're not yeah. even like fucking actual like in the game. In baseball too. Back in the day, yeah, Most Dodgers and Giants. Yeah, they, they used to be notorious for that. Bro, imagine that shit. Imagine if. Man, dude, that's just hilarious, bro. <laughs> sports is a, uh, despite which how you feel about sports, you know, I hear you hear a lot of people talk junk about football, basketball, soccer, back yeah. and forth. You can't deny the impact it has on the world, dog. And the economy too. <laughs> yeah, straight up, like that shit. That shit's, you know, as, as funny as it may sound, like you can't deny it. Hey, like, it's easy for me to have a conversation with somebody about sports. Straight up. I could talk like hours about straight it, up. especially NFL. Straight up. You got the weather and you got fucking sports if you want to make small talk. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's super easy. Sometimes, like, like I'll talk to a stranger and, like, I'll just get kind of carried away. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. And then, or, or, or just start talking shit. I, I remember uh, one of my stops at FedEx, uh, me and the other guy would get there around the same time. Mm-hmm. And um, I forget what we were – we were talk we were talking regularly and then we were talking about football and he's like, you know, like, who's your team? I was like, you know, Carolina or whatever. He's a Carolina fan as well. And the security guard comes out, he's a Redskin oh, excuse me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you can still Excuse me. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Redskins, yeah, commanders, okay. whatever you call it. The commander Redskins. <laughs> he comes out, he's like, Oh we just all three just started having this like just started talking about like football and shit and I was like, Look at that man. 
There was a picture of a I forget what game it was, but there's a picture of these two fans. It was like a white guy and a black guy. They were like hugging. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing, I was like, man, see, look, man, it brings people together, bro. Yeah, sports, yeah. Either, 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 either you get, either you can get killed or you can find a new friend, man. Mm-hmm. Power of sports. <laughs> it took me a second to register. Like, what'd you say? <laughs> you get thrown over the fucking uh, coliseum, you know, or you can, you know, meet hug it friend. out. Yeah, hug it out. It's just hilarious, bro. But man, Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. Dang it, Panthers. Come hey, on, man, but, turn it know, around. We're going to put this shit in a positive note, though, man. You know, this is just a minor, you know, step back for a major comeback, baby. You know what I'm saying? We, Every team had to go through the drought. Every team had to come through the You're drought. You're so ridiculous, man. Hey, man, every team had to go through the drought, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is our time. They're going to kick us while we're down, but we're going to come back around. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Bryce Young, keep your head up. You know, everybody, you know, uh, Facebook has a, a laughing em- uh, emoji. <laughs> I think every, I think you're going to get more of that than likes and, and loves. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta speak positivity into the world, baby. <laughs> we ain't used to this. Which says a lot about the franchise, though, and the history, man. We this our this is our drought era. You got it. Something got to fucking pay off. I'm trying to. Li- I'm, before I well, die, let's I see who they pick as the head coach and GM first before yeah. before we start making conclusions. That's exactly that's true. That but, hey, I just want to say before I die, man, I want to see one of the other teams. Bring bring a parade home, baby. To Charlotte as a Charlotte native. Eventually, well, I mean, we we were close a few times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But come on, baby, as a native, I got to see it through. I know, I know. You a native too? I mean, yeah, I I, I still support the Panthers. I I I even tell people on my channel, I I, I support the Panthers because it's the hometown team. Yeah, factual, factual, factual. Correct me if I'm wrong. You was born in Cali, right? No, I was born here. Oh, okay. okay. I lived there. Okay, got gotcha, you. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Hell yeah, man. It's two natives here, dog. We, we. <sighs> how, how often do you see that? Dude, I, I, I hear people like, oh, wow, that's so rare to see a local. Dude, it's, it's, you, said that, you said that before, too. Yeah, but. when that first time I heard somebody tell me that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> and that's when it dawned on me what Charlotte was had become. Transplants. Was becoming. Yep. Now when you see, like, all of the, uh, the other shit about Charlotte, and um, you know it's it's even more rare now to see people say, "Oh, yeah, you got people talking about Charlotte that's been here for like fifteen, twenty years." It's like, wow, that that's crazy, bro. No one here is from Charlotte, man. No, who no. would have thought? I mean, I should have seen it coming, but you just never thought it would come until it came. Mm-hmm. But I guess it, I guess it helps in certain ways to not. But I don't know though, man. I, I'm hardly outside, so it doesn't even matter to me. <laughs> I don't even feel like a native. You're isolated. Yeah, I don't even feel like a native. If you if you was to ask me like what are places to do in Charlotte, like I couldn't tell you, so I couldn't even tell you, man. But goddamn Carolina. Let's 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 bring one home, baby. Let's just get one more win with the end of the season now, man. That's that's all I ask. Uh, uh, it'll it'll happen one day, one day. I don't know when, but one day. Yeah, one more. That's win. what every that's what every poverty franchise says. One day. Yeah, one day. There's baby. always next year. Hey, it's our year. Hilarious. 2024, maybe. 2026. <laughs> 2026. Hey, that's hey, that's good though. It takes that's reasonable. Years. Yeah, that's reasonable. yeah. Who knows, man? Bryce only fucking go off. I mean, get. But honestly, my prediction for him is by the time they have a team for him, it's too late. I think it'll be too late for him. Really? Damn, dude. I want to see him do good, man. Cause they just if, have no assets. If he doesn't... I no feel no like, draft picks. I feel like they kind of set my man up, though, man. They set like, him up to fail. Because if he does bad, it's going to be easy to, to pick on his stature, to pick on him as a person versus like what he had to deal with. Because yeah. they did it with Cam. Like It was easy to say, oh, Cam, you're washed. But when Cam explained his side of the story, it was like, oh, he kind of got a point. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, and maybe Cam back, has a point now. Yeah, when he came back the second time. Yeah, and you see, like, oh, shit. I'm back! I'm, I'm back! back. <laughs> he said, like, in Arizona. I thought he was coming back to I was actually excited. Damn, bro. But uh, I mean, he teased us a little bit. Fuck you. It's, yeah, o- man. it's okay, Cam. You're still loving Carolina, for the most part. I wonder if, I wonder if Cam doing like, fuck Carolina. No, nah, no, I think he's still... I think he's, he still love the people? I think he loves Charlotte. I think, he, I think he's still into Charlotte. Damn. That bro. was his home for 10 years, right? Almost 10 years. Damn, Wait, no, no, it was like, like, like eight. It was only like eight years, I think. He was got drafted, what, 2011? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he ended 2017, 2018, I think. Damn, bro. And it was, 
Bro, you know, oh my god, we're really becoming the generation, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Lou, this was a fun one. It really was. This was a man. fun episode. Oh my gosh, this is without Paul. We're almost at an hour. This one woke me up, bro. I was kind of tired today. It's gloomy out here in Charlotte today. Well, I mean, it, 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 outside is gloomy, and the Panthers are gloomy too. Yeah, hell yeah, I was. We should have a Panther sad face. Uh, yeah. Uh, logo. A sad Panther. Yeah, yeah. Let me see with if I can look that up. With the Jordan face. Yeah. No, no, no. Just the sad Panther. Oh my God, bro! Hey, but it's all love, though, man. You know, we love, we love, we love it here, right? I found it. I found it. The sad oh, logo. Oh fuck, man! The, the Carolina kittens, the little kitties, man. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh, that's hilarious. That's disgusting. I can't tell you guys, but that's disgusting. Jesus Christ! But anyways, guys, uh, do you have anything else to add to the nah, Bryce Young Panthers? I mean, we could probably add more, but. This podcast would take like two hours then. Yeah, no, nah, man, I'm I'm good over here, man. I think I think we hit everything. We, we, we David hit, Tepper, man. dang it, just stay out of football operations. Oh shit, that's all you have to do, man. And then you can get all the credit. Trust me, you get- fund it, huh? Fund it, what but don't run it. Oh yeah, exactly. Th- that's good. That's good. Oh, you better trademark that. <laughs> trademark that real quickly. I'm hoping nobody took that, but oh shit. And if it was somebody to trademark that, we were the first ones. Hell yeah. Fund it, but don't run it. <laughs> Did you just pick that up on the fly? The top of the dome, baby. <laughs> yeah, I might get a treat, man. I, you know, I know Chang and Lou, we do things, but, you know, your boy kind of do be having some freestyles. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. But anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. First time back in a while. And yeah, you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay safe and much love to you guys. Hey, love you guys. Be safe and... uh. Yep.